Hello, this is Belinda, and I'm recording this channel from the South Island of New Zealand. I'm way down here, I'm very close to the South Pole. It's freezing cold right now because it's winter, and I'm thinking about all my stitching buddies back in Florida where it's extremely warm, where the sun shines every day, and I miss them. I miss you all, I really do. How did I come to be in New Zealand? Well, I'm from here. I'm sure you can figure that out by the sound of my voice. I'm actually back to my roots. I'm living uh, back on the farm where I was born and raised after about a 25 year absence. So a year and a half ago, my husband and I moved back from the Florida in the United States um, after I'd lived there for 14 years, my husband is a born and raised American. In fact, he lived in um, the same small town in the state of Florida his whole life. And his family have lived there for 300 years. My husband was the very first person in his family to leave that town. And he didn't just move across the United States, he moved across the world to a different hemisphere. So it's a big deal. We did that a year and a half ago. We're back to my roots. It's lovely to be close to my family. And we built a tiny cottage um, here in the South Island. At some point I'd love to show some videos of the scenery and a little about their location. I've named this channel Magpies and Me. This is because my memory of magpies uh, was really not a positive one. And since I've come back <laughs> to um, this area and back to New Zealand to live, I've rediscovered magpies and found some rather redeeming qualities about them. When I was a child, I used to walk home from the bus stop uh, when I went to school. And the magpies at one season of the year would would swoop and they were vicious oh they were vicious they didn't want anyone any human to bother their nest so it was during nesting season and they would swoop from the rear um, and actually their little claws would come so close to my head at times you could feel them just scraping the top of my head they were terrifying since I've been back here I've had um, rather a lovely experience. My husband and I built a little cottage, which is where I'm filming this from. And while we were building, we noticed mother black. Oh, I'm sorry, mother magpies leading their little ones around the cottage, and the babies are absolute, absolutely pathetic little things that decide they need to rely on their mother and father for everything for guidance um, they're real the funny to watch because even as fairly well developed birds even though they're still young they're they're almost the same size as their parents they expect the parents to feed them from their beak to their beak um, it's it's amazing and they make these funny little sounds so next breeding season and when the babies are young I'll try to make some recordings to upload onto uh, this channel so on will go my experience, my ongoing saga with the magpies, and I've, I've started to love them again. Better not go out walking though, or I might um, revert back to my former opinions of them. So I'm way down here, I don't have any stitching buddies. Um, it's rather sad to be honest with you, I stitch by myself, and I perhaps bore my poor husband from time to time showing him <laughs> what I'm working on and he's very very good about it he actually shows an interest um, but I I mentioned some buddies back in Florida I have a lot of them I have to say a special hello to Tracy because Tracy it all started with you Tracy's a very special lady who has a huge number of friends and that's a credit to Tracy because of the type of person she is. She um, to me is the quintessential American woman, someone who welcomes people into her home, 
uh, makes them feel so at home as if it's their own home and treats them with so much uh, love and she's a very generous person fabulous cook fabulous sewer fabulous family member she's a mother a brother uh, sorry a mother a sister a grandmother a wife who's dearly loved by all her family as well and Tracy has so many friends as I say but she also has a lot of stitching friends and I um, I miss all of you I miss sitting with you on Wednesdays stitching away talking about what's going on talking about things we probably shouldn't talk about uh, as well as laughing uh, I really do miss you all but I think about you all the time I'll talk a little bit about some of my stitching projects I thought in upcoming videos I'd actually show a few pieces of work that I have finished some I've finished for quite some time what I'm currently working on um, as well as whatever takes my fancy really it could be knitting it could be a book review it could be something I'm writing who knows it could even be gardening and I'd like to get a few little lambs in on this too because we do live on a farm and hopefully we'll be getting some sheep at some point first item I'll show you is where um, it's very special to me because when my now husband and I met and the very first words, words we exchanged um, were while I was stitching this piece. This is a loose feathers design by Blackbird Designs and I've modified it slightly in the um, alphabetical border but this was a loose feathers um, winter, autumn and summer series. I've stitched at the bottom center an R, which is the first letter of my last name. And I've stitched the year and when um, my husband and I were married. And forever, that is to represent um, how long my love for my husband will, will exist um, forever. So I was stitching the summer section of this design when I first met my husband. So way over on this side, um, the first words he exchanged to me were in a bookshop, actually at Barnes & Noble in Florida. I was stitching on this and I decided after, um, after that I would just keep going working on this and it would always be symbolic of the time when we met. In the time of my life actually it was a real turning point for me so that's that there is stitched on the called for fabric using the called for threads but I'm not I'm very good at remembering all these things and I can't find my copy of this pattern if I can find those details for you I'll let you know another recently finished piece is this piece, which is, um, I'll show you the chart first, Barbara Anna Designs, and it's all creatures great and small. So this is wonderful. I love this piece. Of course, it refers to the beautiful old hymn, a hymn I used to sing all the time when I was a child. In fact, my grandfather here in New Zealand used to love to teach um, my sister and I children's hymns and this was always a, one that I was very very fond of so to actually um, find a chart which commemorates and attributes that hymn was really a great fun so it's stitched on the called for fabric using the called for threads although I did mix um, anchor and DMC depending on what I had in my collection um, the fabric is 40 count vintage country mocha from Zweigart and um, the threads are anchor and DMC. Here is how it turned out and I can see that I'm going to need to improve my technical skills here. I'm going to have to get a video, um, a, a camera I guess that improves quality when making videos. 
because to me this isn't going to be too clear but I hope you can get an idea of it. Um, it's a lovely design. I, I enjoyed working on it. I worked um, from New Zealand for the, most of the time while I was working on this actually while my stitching buddies in Florida have been working on it there and Arkansas actually. A group of us, um, Pam, Delma, Tracy and I all stitched this at the same time. So um, that's that piece there. While I think of it, I want to show um, what frames I use. I love to work on. I'll show you a few. My friend Tracy actually hand paints these. You'll see here um, the scroll bars. Now these are beautifully hand painted and, and finished, um, professionally made. They're really, really high quality. So these are bars which um, Tracy has in different lengths. Um, she also makes these scr these scroll um, bars, which the knobs actually, of course, rotate, and we can roll our design accordingly. There are strips of I think it's rubber that hold the fabric in place, and she makes a variety of knobs which she hand paints. So I'm going to hold these up and hopefully you can see this is a cute little ginger cat and this little putty cat is working on some embroidery himself. What a clever little cat. Here's another one. This one here. He's just a different color. Very cute. Um, they're all individual. As I say, hand painted. And these are just the cats. Now these hand painted scroll frames are available um, if any of you would like to um, inquire about purchasing any of these. I love to use them because they are so attractive to use. Here's some with sheep. They work really well for any size project. Um, I'll tip the sheep on their side. So see she's done this a similar design on the actual bar but she's got um, some sheep this time. Rather than this painted designs on the square knob, she's painted some sheep. So I have two white sheep on that side. I have one white sheep and a black sheep on the other end. And that makes me think I'm always the black sheep in the flock. Always just a little bit different. Nothing wrong with that. I have one more set here which is a little paler. I'm not sure how well these will show up. I love these ones. Um, it's a heart. Somebody's working on some embroidery there. But Tracy's incredibly talented. Um, she's painted all kinds. Flip-flops representing some, um, Florida summers. She's painted, I think, frogs. Just you name it, she can think of it. Teddy bears. So, um, Great fun. Right, what else can I show you? What I'm currently working on is a blackbird design. Nope, sorry, what am I saying? Lizzie Kate, this is a chart. I'll take it out of the bag. Um, I'm just working on this. It's obviously not finished. I was trying to get it finished for the 4th of July. My husband and I are actually going to have a celebratory occasion for all of the builders and contractors who built our cottage and we're going to have it American themed we're going to cook for them and have a, um, a I guess a barbecue outside with my husband's going to cook a lot of food and we're going to have Americana on display so some of these little stitchings I'm going to put out on at that time as well this is the little pack Lizzie Kate pack red white and blue is what it's called and it came with the wool, the um, cord for linen, the rickrack that goes around the outside, I think it's rickrack, oh, there might actually be some jute, I'm not quite sure which. Um, it even came with the button and the little piece of tape which is um, able to be turned into a little ribbon. 
so it's very nice I'm having fun with that I'm going to have to stitch the American flag across the bottom um, plus I have a few details missing um, the design the stars inside the little square the window panes still have to be stitched so it's rather fun I love to stitch patriotic designs which take me back to America um, I love the United States of America and I'm very thankful for all of the time that I've spent there the people I've met and the experiences I've had and my husband surely needs to be reminded of, of his home um, every day so I try to stitch bits and pieces that will help to keep his home alive in his heart I thought I'd also mention um, I love to read and you'll see a lot of books in the background well I'm also a librarian these days that's what I'm working as a high school librarian and I'm I love to read I've been reading book after book lately I've branched out a little bit so at the moment I'm reading The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. Karen has a very apt last name, uh, certainly when it comes to, to this novel. I guess you could consider it a thriller. It's actually the most frightening, uh, graphic, and I guess bloody book I've ever read. And I must have toughened up a little bit because I'm I'm actually not freaking myself out by reading this. Uh, that makes me happy. So it's a very exciting book. It's really a page turner. And it's about a girl who as a child experienced um, murder within her family. And then it fast forwards to her as an adult, um, as a lawyer. And she's, she can't get away from those ex that bad experience. Um, of the murder within her family when she was a child and she seems to be getting close to similar experiences in her adult years. I'm only a little way through the book. I'm not going to give any spoilers um, but this is a great book so if that sounds like something you might be interested in I surely recommend it. It's uh, definitely captivating. I, I haven't really got anything else out because this is my first recording and I really just wanted to put it out there and see what I need to improve upon for the future. Um, but uh, I'd love to hear from anyone. As I say, I, I stitch by myself here and um, it's quiet. Um, very, very quiet. As you can tell, there's not a sound because we live out in the Wat Wats, out in the country. And um, look, I'd also like to sp say a special hello to Robin, uh, who's a fellow Kiwi, who also lives in Florida, and with her sweet husband Neil. They're also they're both New Zealanders, but have lived in the United States for a very long time, and are citizens. Um, I want to say hello to you as well, Robin. You're a dear friend. I have lots of you who are dear friends. I'll, I'll mention all of you, um, but I just want to, to particularly mention those two, Tracy and, and Robin, at this point. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to being back on here sometime soon. Keep stitching, and remember, magpies and me.